all your life. Peanut Butter Kong presents the best weapon in High Pixel Skyblock. Thought the Spirit Scepter was one of the best weapons in the game? Sure, it stings like a shark. It flies like a bird. But it's not the whole picture. Yeah, it could clear a room in a second. Yeah, its shark powers could destroy any mob in a second. Just about any mob. Well, that's because you haven't been using your shark powers to the fullest yet. That's no shark. That's a shark villa. That's because this technique is called Bat NATO. Watch closely, because it's building bigger and bigger. A swarm of sharks. An instant death. You missed it? No problem. Let's play the real. Okay, as you can see there, if it's possible, it might be tough to control the bats. It does take some practice getting used to. But the basic idea is you get a swarm of these things, a ton of them in the air, as you can see here. You get them all going in one direction, and you release it all at once. And it's just basically an instant death for whatever you come up against it. This weapon is pretty overpowered, and this method makes it even way more overpowered. It will destroy things and rip through things, since you could basically, let's just say, get 10 to 20 hits all at once. And one thing that makes this method also so great is the fact that while you're waiting for a boss, especially since most of them are talking to you and you have to wait for some text to come up before you can attack them, you can use that time and start spinning up the Batnado like you've seen in some of the earlier clips instead of just sitting around and doing nothing. You could build up a huge swarm of these things, especially with a team you could cause almost instant death to whatever it is you come across. So I would totally keep this in mind as you're fighting, especially those really tough bosses. Now, when you're fighting normal mobs, it makes very little sense to use the Batnado method. It's much easier just right-clicking through and you're going to kill a lot of things, especially if it's a bit easier for you. It'll save a lot of time. As you can see here, I can rip up these mobs quite easily. It is a lower floor, floor 2 here, so keep that in mind. I'd like to give a shout-out to all these teammates here. They're all random teammates. We haven't played all together before, but everyone was having a blast using the Batnado method together. We were definitely ripping through these bosses. I would totally recommend for anyone that hasn't tried this to especially try it. With a team, it totally makes this method completely unstoppable. And even with one person, they could end up killing Scarf 
or another boss entirely by themselves. Instantly by themselves. So everyone, that is about a wrap. I really hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, subscribing and sharing amongst the community helps out a tremendous amount. Peace out.